Welcome back to the channel guys, Matt here. This channel is Stylish Irishman and I'm a Stylish Irishman. So the mother tells me. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all keeping well. So in this video I'm going to tell you about my top three favourite Creed fragrances. Some of them you might agree with, some of them you might not, so stick around and we'll get into it. Please give the video a like if you haven't already. Love to give this video a goal of 110 likes. I'd really appreciate it guys, thanks you bunch of legends. Anyway, let's go. So the three fragrances on this list are my opinion and they're actually my brothers too. Uh, we both have very similar taste. Guys, so you're probably going to disagree with one of these. I'd say a lot of people will disagree with it, but I'd like to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. So the first one I have here on the list is Creed Aventus Cologne. So this will definitely be, uh, ruffle some feathers, I know that, because a lot of people think this is a flop and this release is redundant. So it's a Cologne version of the original Creed Aventus. Uh, Creed Aventus, the original is known for pineapple and the kind of smoky scent it gives off. It's an iconic fragrance in the industry. Everyone loves it. I love it myself. I have a 120 ml bottle of it. It's nearly gone. But I don't know if I'd rebuy it for the simple fact that the formulations nowadays are just so watered down, so different. They vary so much and that's just not something that I can put up with. Um, if you're going to release a fragrance, it should be the same in every single bottle. And it, that just really pisses me off, to be honest. Uh, when I sampled Creed Aventus the first time, it was a smoky batch and I, and I bought a bottle and the bottle that I bought was not smoky and I was wondering why it was so different and then I realized that there is batch variations on it. So yeah, that's why I don't like Aventus, but Aventus Cologne is a summary version of it. It's, it removes the pineapple, there's no pineapple note in here. So the main accords you get in this one are the musk, mandarin orange, a bit of pink pepper and vetiver. That's mainly what I get from this, there's a touch of ginger in there too, but, but I really like this, it's a really uplifting, bright, summery fragrance. Some people disagree, say that this should have ambergris in it because it's a creed and ambergris is a signature creed note. Um, but this is a cologne, I suppose a cologne. It's not a cologne concentration, but it's supposed to be a kind of a lighter version. Obviously it would be great if it had ambergris in it. It's a nice fragrance, some people disagree with the price, but I think Aventus Cologne is so bright, the mandarin orange on top mixes gorgeous with the musk and pink pepper, and you do get that touch of ginger as well. I do personally and the vetiver to make this a really interesting fragrance i think that in comparison to the original event is it definitely has its own place and don't knock this one off guys i really recommend you try this one out before you put it to the back burner because of all the other reviewers putting it down i think this is nice it has a really nice bottle see what you think and let me know in the comment section guys what you think of this and aventus which would you buy which would you recommend nowadays in 2020 I'd love to know and let me know what your favorite creeds are as well so we'll get into my second one now so guys number two on the list then here is creed royal oud one of my favorite creeds obviously is it's on this list so the main accords in royal oud are cedar sandalwood pink pepper and there's a touch of oud there's not really actually much oud in it oud is in the name this can be very off-putting it doesn't have much of an oud accord at all it just has a sandalwood and cedar with a touch of oud i'd say very little but it's very very masculine and in my opinion this is a lovely formal fragrance so I'd, I'd wear this to formal occasions and stuff but it's so classy it smells really nice and there's a bit of creaminess there too with the sandalwood obviously brings in a bit of creaminess and on top then it's really peppery so there is that pepper on it and i love that peppery scent and if you watch my channel you know that peppery fragrances I do really like. It's not in too many fragrances now, but it really adds a lovely touch to a fragrance and I think this is gorgeous, perfect for formal occasions. You could also wear it to work or meetings and stuff if you liked. If you have the money to buy and wear this, can be a bit strong though for some people. I definitely recommend trying this out guys. Royal Oud really lives up to the name, made for royalty. And I'm uh, sure that's what I am. Huh. Anyway, Royal Oud by Creed guys. Highly recommend this one, one of my favorite Creeds. Love the scent of it. Okay guys, the final one on the list here and my absolute favorite Creed is Creed Viking. Now this one here is actually owned by my brother. My brother owns this and I'm very jealous of it. Um, I really, really love this one. So this actually has pink pepper in there too. So the main accord in this would be is pink pepper according to Fragrantica. So guys, and also in here, with, along with the pink pepper, you get spicy mint, rose and bergamot. And the rose really, does come off on this it's not a feminine rose at all 
I know lots of men don't like even thinking about fragrance with rose in it and it completely turns them off and I agree like Portrait of a Lady and all these different fragrances that are for men apparently but have rose. Rose is in this but it's blended perfectly. This is, you know, the name on this really is perfect, Viking. Um, it kind of reminds you of maybe what you'd think Ragnar Lothbrok from Vikings would smell like. Um, it really is a perfect name for this fragrance. It's very masculine, obviously, and has somewhat of a vintage kind of classic feel to it. That's why a lot of people wouldn't like it. Um, some people would say that it's for an elderly gentleman, like in his 40s, 50s, 60s. But I don't think so. I love this. My brother is younger than me. Uh, he's 26 and he bought this and look at the dint in it. He only has it a few weeks. Um, it's really, really nice, guys. It's expensive. Again, creeds are expensive, but in my opinion, this one here is the best creed out there at the moment. And let me know what you think of Viking, guys. Do you like it? Would you pay the money for it? There are some clones of it, obviously, but I'm a sucker for the original, as you might know from following my channel. So, guys, Creed Viking, highly, highly recommend this. This is lovely for formal occasions. Also can be worn casually and to work and stuff. Yeah, I've really taken a shine to this and I hope to have my own battle very soon. So that's Creed Viking number three. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join the SI fam, the best fragrance family on YouTube. Take a handy guys. God bless.